In this experiment, we're going to investigate the effect of an enzyme called amylase on starch. So first of all, I'm going to set up some test tubes containing starch. So I'm going to add two mils of our starch solution to test tube A and two mils of the starch solution to test tube B. To test tube A, I'm going to add one mil of our enzyme amylase. And to test tube B, I'm going to add one mil of distilled water. As a control. So in test tube A and B, I've both got two mils of starch and A has our enzyme amylase and B has water. We're just going to leave these tubes for approximately one hour and then we're going to test them and see what the results are. So first of all, I'm going to test for the presence of starch using iodine. So I'm going to take a couple of drops from test tube A. And a couple of drops from test tube B. I'm then going to use iodine to test the presence of starch. So we can see for A, we've got no colour change. So all the starch is gone. And in B, the iodine has gone blue-black colour. So this is a positive test for starch. We're then going to use Benedict's solution and test for glucose. So I'm going to pop some Benedict's into A. And some into B. Gently mix the test tubes so we can see the blue colour. I'm then going to add some freshly boiled water and we're going to watch for any colour changes. So we're just starting to get a colour change in A. And 
And if we leave this for a full 10 minutes, we can see the colour in A is gone a brick red colour, but no colour change in B. So the brick red colour means all the starch has been broken down into glucose. So we've got positive tests for glucose. And in B, the Benedict's stays blue. So to, in conclusion, we can say that amylase has broken down all the starch in test tube A and produced glucose.